Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy STIZR. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, DIY. I went ahead and I purchased the Mishimoto um, expansion tank right there. I went ahead and I already took the other one out. Uh, it's pretty small. Um, it's kind of flimsy. Uh, the expansion tank is 50% bigger. So that should help out. Um, it's pretty simple, really simple uh, to do. There is four hoses. Um, if you don't have the the AOS, then you have a coolant line going straight to your turbo. But this is my coolant line right here that goes straight to my AOS. Then you have some return lines over here, one, two. And then you have another coolant line on the bottom right there. So... One, two, three, four. You got one, two small inlets, and the lower part right there. It's got a high pressure cap, which is pretty cool. Um, then it's just got two mountain bolts right here, 12, uh, 12 millimeter. And if you want, you can still hook it up with the bracket. You really don't have to. It's no, uh, it's no big deal. But I'm gonna try to put it on real quick. This took me about, I don't know, five minutes to take out. I got a turkey baster and I stuck it inside of the, the original OEM one so I can get all the coolant out of it, which is that right there. And uh, you'll have a small, small, small amount left inside. So it's not the end of the world. As long as you got a rack, you can clean it up. All right, well, let me get this back on real quick. All right, so I went ahead and put it back on. Honestly, this install probably takes five minutes to take off and five minutes to put back on. Um, the part that took the longest was taking the coolant out of the old uh, reservoir. Um, I did need to modify it a little bit. There's a hose, the back hose right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I needed a trim. I don't know, a quarter of an inch. It was just it was just snagging too tight. So I went ahead and I bled it. Basically just pumped air out of the upper hose. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it so I can get some of this coolant recirculating through. Um, every hose is intact, everything is good. So let me go ahead and start it right now. Just a turbo the titanium lava wrap you can see it right there to prevent some of that heat soak and then I finished wrapping the whole down pipe from the top right there to the bottom um, my intake temperatures were off the chain in the hot 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 heat right here in Georgia um, it helped it I think I was running about 170 intake temp now it's roughly around 130 120 it was about 90 degrees today so there's the uh expansion tank it's actually really hot <laughs> so everything 
there's the same. There's Makai. <laughs> there's Bojangles. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Here's the side view. And I also put the little flex fuel. Little guy right there. Huh? Yeah. So.